Professional Baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the Detroit Tigers taking on the Cleveland Guardians. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. Postseason baseball singing. It's always great to see and be a part of. Well, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching players coming out of the bullpen, throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that'll live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, first pitch coming up. And on the mound today, a guy who will give them innings, Tanner Bybee. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Leading off and the stepping in Roy. is the speedy the Parker Meadows. Parker Meadows. The pitch. Oh. And that's outside. So we're underway here in game two. That's down and in, a slider missed. Next offering is in for a strike. And a big swing and a miss. And a pitch. Meadows checks his swing, appeal to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. So digging in, Kerry Carpenter. Kerry Carpenter. Swing and a miss. It's 0 1. There's a player known for playing better in day games, which is not always the case. I mean, day games are different, bro. Things change from game times to your daily routine, but he sure makes the transition look easy. That one finds the zone, and that's strike two. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. One down, base is empty. And that's down and away. The one-two. Two. One out, base is empty. Nice. And a swing and a miss. Two away down. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Two outs. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. Hey. Got it. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. here in Cleveland getting the nod in this one Reese Olsen what should we keep an eye on here great sinker although it's not his primary pitch it's really a pitch that he can go to misses the barrel of the bat 
gets ground balls and lets the defense work behind him. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. This one lifted in the air, left field. Green makes the catch for the out. One away. Here's the Guardians lineup now. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Next to hit, David Fry, and he swings and misses at the initial offering. Right-hander kicks, deals. He swings and fouls one off. That one, one misses in the dirt. And another ball. Swing and a miss struck him out. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like curve. that thing does. Huge movement. movement. It's oh, so man. difficult to get on the same plane oh, and even here, think man. about squaring it up, let alone get a oh, piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at-bat alive. Jose Ramirez, the next to hit, takes ball one. Ramirez getting the start at the hot corner, hitting third in the lineup, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Late on that fastball. One one. Late with the swing there. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. A wind of the pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Guardians turned away in the first. We played one in Cleveland with no score on the show. Back now at Progressive Field. Top of the second. Here's Riley Green. Riley Green. The pitch. And that's a little bit high. And that's ball one. Nothing like postseason baseball. There's a buzz in the air. Every pitch seems bigger. It's truly special. Next offer in there for a strike. And now it's even one and one. That one missed. There really is a different feel to the postseason. I only got five games of postseason action in my playing career, but I treasured each of them. The pitch. And that's outside. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Just a little too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. And he deals. The punch out there. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Wow, that's a tough ball for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. And it's even up. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players. Maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. And that's in the dirt. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. 
And strike two. Two balls, two strikes. top of the second. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy in the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Two outs, base is empty. No. Just missed. One ball, one strike. Two and on there's one. a ball. Two down, nobody on. That one fouled off, two and two. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Quan moving back. Got all of that one. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Two outs, space is empty. Zach McKinstry up now for the Tigers. This to third, and that chance handled. Sends it across the first. That's the third out. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And the home team down a run. You're watching the American League Division Series on the show. Bottom half of inning number two. So in now for Cleveland, Josh Naylor. The first baseman, Josh Naylor. The pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Beerlin puts it away for the out. One down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Lane Thomas no, stands in here, takes ball one low. And that's Paul, the inside edge. Two and oh. Just missed. Reno. There's the strike at the knees. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. This one in the air. Under it. Hauls it in for the out. Batting six. The second baseman, Andre. Here's Andre Jimenez. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit, or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Next offering is downstairs. The Tigers leading by a run here in game two. 
Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two outs. Left field. Green makes the play, and that's the third out. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Here in Cleveland, new inning getting started. And now the shortstop, Trey Sweeney. The wind of the pitch. And there's the strike. No ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two now. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. Pretty classic sequence on the strikeout right there. Did a nice job working him hard inside early in the at bat, not letting him get extended. Then he went to a well executed changeup away and just had him out front. He still had to think he's got to protect the inside part of the plate with an 0-2 count. So it becomes really hard to adjust when you get something soft away like that. Now it's going to be Jake Rogers. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. And they add on. It's 2 nothing. He wasted no time in that at bat. Swinging at the first pitch and he punished it. was a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay back to the top of the lineup and here's the tiger leadoff man parker meadows high fly ball out to left field kwan settles underneath it he's got it and there's two away The right fielder, number 30. Gary two outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Kerry Carpenter. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. Oh. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. One run across in the frame so far, and we're here in game two of the ALDS. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Two down, nobody on. Hopped up on the left side of the infield. Rokio has this one sized up. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Tigers add one to the lead on this homer. And it's two zip. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the rookie right fielder, John Kenzie Noel. John Kenzie Noel. And a pitch. That one a little bit high. And that is ball one. Now the slider just misses. Two balls, no strike. That's off the mark. 3 and 0. Oh. No, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they walk you. On the inside corner for a strike. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball.
Three two. Chases that one out of the zone. And there's one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Bo Naylor at the plate now. And he grounds one to the right side. Throw on to Torkelson. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Not shortstop. Brian. Here's Brian Rocchio. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The Guardians trailing by two here in the last half of the third. Splits the plate and a count one, one, one. and one. And misses inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Hey. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Guardians go down one, two, three. They're still down. It's two zip. We're in the second game of this division series. And now the center fielder, Matt Veerling. Bybee back to work. And that one fouled off. You think back to 2017, and Cleveland set a major league record. 22 consecutive wins they had. It was capped off with a 10-inning walk-off win. Pretty amazing streak and a big part of the history of this yard. Here, checks his swing. Now it appealed to first, and he held up. Boog, and I remember early in that season covering them and talking to their staff and players, and they didn't feel like they had really clicked yet. Now, when I went back to do some research, looking at metrics like base runs, I realized they weren't scoring runs at the rate in which the data was saying they should be at. So the numbers were saying it was just a matter of time until they would take off. Little did we know that it would convert into a 22-game winning streak, and it took the baseball world by storm. I love when you talk nerd to me. Green, the next to hit, takes outside. That's the ball. Well, these Tigers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Jack swing, one around. Two balls and a strike. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. Next offering is in for a strike. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Around third, the relay to the plate, safe. Everything came together for him. Solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here's the second baseman, Colt Heath. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And that one is lifted in the air. Noel moving under this one. Brings it in. Runner tags it second. Cut off. Throw to third. He's in there. 
Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. He's already homered in this game. Bounce to the left side. Rokio throws the first. Out number two, and another run comes in. Now that the third baseman, Zach. Next McKinstry. to hit, Zach McKinstry. Grounded out his first time up. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in at top half of inning number four. Pitch misses there, and the count is one and two. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So up next, Trey Sweeney. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Oh. Late on that fastball. No ball. One strike. McKinstry off of first with two away. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. To the bottom of inning number four now. Tigers four and the Guardians nothing. Bottom of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. The left fielder. Stephen. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Green snags it and there's one down. The batter, number six. And now the Designated DH, hitter. David Fry, struck out swinging his first time. Oh. Fry oh. measures six feet, oh, no, no. two inches, 28 years old. He's usually a third baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. And a foul ball. A little bit of a day off for him. Instead of being at the hot corner, he can just kind of put the batting gloves on, hold the bat as he sits on the bench, waiting for his time to hit. Hit hard. That gets through. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Now it's Jose Ramirez. He's 0 for 1. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And that's in for a strike. Right through there for a strike. Battling here as he fouls it away. Man at first, one away. In the dirt, but kept close. Nice job behind the plate there. 
kicks and fires. Hey. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Well done behind the dish. Well, I don't think there's Number a hitter alive that Number hasn't at some two. point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. Nailer stands in now, looks at that one inside. And the right hater deals. And Nailer swings through that one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. The Tigers leading by four. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the inning. One left for the Guardians. They trail it here for nothing. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the catcher comes up to him, Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers. As he turns on the rubber, and with that live arm delivers. That's a little bit low. Outside corner, there's a strike. A wide to kick the pitch. Oh. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Two one now. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Well, they just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Got him. Outside pitch got the better of him that time. Well, oh, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter and rolling away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Meadows, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's 0-2. One down, base is empty. He goes down looking. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Two outs, base is empty. And next to hit for Detroit, Kerry Carpenter. That's in there. Going on. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Right through there for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It's just right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And ball one. And they'll do it again. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Tigers fail to make any noise, but they lead it 4 to nothing. And we're back Ooh, now. Lane Thomas. He's a guy. No, Chris's highlights either. include some of the Way. best throws from the outfield that you Thomas. will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. And the right hater back to work. Oh, and what? that's off the inside edge. And it's one to know. Oh. 
just missed. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. Now two and one. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now batter, the second baseman, Andres. He better. And here is Andres Jimenez. Fly to left his first time. Into center. Thierland settles underneath it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two outs. Now batting, right fielder. John Kenzie Noel digs in for the Guardians. Struck out swinging his first time. And a foul ball. Here comes the 0 1. And that drops in for a strike. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. That misses. One and two to count. The Guardians down by four. Last half of inning number five. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Swings and misses. Struck him out. The Guardians go down in order. They're down 4 nothing. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Joey Cantillo. Now pitching for the Guardians, number 54. Joey Cantillo. Matt Veerlin digs in now. The center fielder, number eight, Matt Veerlin. As the lefty gets to work, and the slider just misses. Movement in the pan for the Guardians. Eli Morgan getting ready to go. The pitch. A yes. little out front there as he swings through one it. One ball, one strike. That oh. one misses, and it's two and one. Here comes a pitch. Three and one. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. And out of here. He circles the bases, and they add to their lead. It's 5 zip. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. If there's a most predictable count to get a fastball, it's still three balls in one strike. I'll tell you what, that hitter was ready for it. He got his pitch, and he absolutely unloaded on it. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Riley Green. A little bit high. Ball one. That's a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Nobody on, nobody out. And we're in the top half of the sixth. 
swings through that one out in front that time. It can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Oh, that slider was way out of the zone and for me it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand not tracking it into the zone and then also being a little bit anxious not confident in your two strike approach and so when a guy's in that position you get him to commit early and a lot of times you get the swing and miss as you did right there key in the box again takes the strike Ball one there. Wouldn't chase that time. Two balls, one strike. Next offering in there for a strike. Slider right there. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. The two strikes you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Toss to Naylor, and they get Torkelson for the out. And that is the inning. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And the lead is now 5-0. This is the American League Division Series on the show. Back now at Progressive Field, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the catcher, Bo Naylor. Naylor. And a pitch. And a strike in there. You know, these Guardians just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just... Oh, and a nice sliding stop. And they get the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Uh -huh. Let's the defense work That's behind him with another ground ball. Ryan. Good execution. Rokio. And now, Brian Rokio. His first at bat was a strikeout. Oh. And takes low for ball one. Enough. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Strike one. one, and one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Breaking ball inside, and it's two and two. Stays alive. Three, Almost two. got him. Two now. Fights it off. He'll see another. Grinding AB right here. About to see pitch number 10. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Foul. 
foul ball left side. He'll see another. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one's carrying. taking his cuts, finally squared one up. In a 3-2 count, you've got to be ready to hit at the plate, even if it's a borderline pitch. You don't want to leave it in the umpire's hands. You've got to be ready to pull the trigger. He had a great swing on that, and he got rewarded for it. So the lineup flips over. Stephen Kwan getting ready to hit. Gets the call. Strike one. No ball. One strike. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Now that the designated hit. And up next for Cleveland, David Fry. One for two. Oh. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Here goes the runner. Pitch is high. Oh, oh, oh. Save! Runner at second here, one gone. Nope. And a good eye Off there. Two and oh. And now two and one. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. And the righty deals. Careful. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. The one comes in to score from second. It's 5-2. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Here's Jose Ramirez. And that one hammered Veerlin. Ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. The first baseman, number 22. Josh Naylor. Here's Josh Naylor. Swing and a miss. Going one. Oh, well, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. That oh. misses. One ball, one, one ball. strike. One strike. Fry off the of first with two away. Right through there for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Two outs. Bows it off. Still one and two. Righty to the plate. Cold strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. 
They put two on the board on three hits, including the home run. No errors and one left on base. We head to the seventh now in game two. It's the Tigers five and the Guardians two. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Eli Morgan. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality now pitches out of him right ball. here. Got to do his best Number to keep 49. the score right where it is. Eli. Zach McKinstry Morgan. up now for the Tigers. A wind in the pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter, Morgan. Measures 5 feet 10 inches, 27 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2017. Ball to strike, the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swings and misses, and one gone. Now better. Trey Sweeney up Ray. now for the Tigers. That one ripped. Thomas going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now that Ketcher, Jake Rogers. Here's the catcher, Jake Rogers. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? Bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. In the on deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. The last thing you want to do is miss a good hittable fastball early in the count. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Back to the top of the Detroit order. Parker Meadows will hit next. That clips the zone. And that is strike one. Left-hand batter waits. Back foot slider struck him out. Tigers lead one, and it remains 5-2. Bottom of the seventh, here's Lane Thomas. The Guardians in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid-off man. I need a good at-bat out of him right here. Olsen, back to work. And that's in there at the knees. Action in the pen down there. Jackson Joe getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Brisky getting loose as well. The 2 and there's a ball. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough the sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. The pitch. Okay. And that skips in the door. for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Very frustrating right there yeah. as a speedy the potential base runner oh, when the two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Jimenez in the box now. No balls in a strike.
The Tigers leading by three here in the late stages of game two. Missed with a changeup. One and one. Out towards left center. On the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. Now back. That's a really right nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. John Kenzie Noel, the next to hit, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That's the chase ball. that time. Late on that fastball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And here it comes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Goes down looking. Nothing doing here this half. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Tigers five and the Guardians two. Tim Heron taking over on the mound. Number and they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. And now the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. The right fielder, number 30, Kerry Carpenter. The pitch. Just missed. That missed inside, okay. and it's 2-0. Two, oh. two will count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Right. And it is 2-1. Oh. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. That one in for a strike, 2-2. Two and two. And another ball. This one in the air center field. Thomas sizes this one up. Makes the grab run away. Now battle the center fielder. Now Foul. Base is empty, one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. Forget it. Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. It's 6 2. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there, too. He gave it a great effort, but, you know, those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Swing it a foul straight back. The 
The lefty fires. Oh, oh. Fastball for a strike. One and a count, one and two. Hit. He was all over that one. Just a really nice yeah, approach yeah. to shoot that line That's drive to the opposite field. Yeah. There's a lot of hard work hmm. and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Keith, now in the box. Comes Come up on. empty with a swing there. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's not a good two. Guys, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Two outs. Just missed. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. That's inside. Green leads off first with two down to the inning. Basketball ah! for a strike. Ooh. It's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Right through there. Got it. And that is that. Solo shot for Detroit this inning. It's now 6-2. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, number 73. Bringing in now, the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right Go here, on. so we'll see how it works Go out. On. Now here is Bo Naylor. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. That clips a corner. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Swings through that one for strike two. Oh, the hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And he deals. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. The batter. Now shot. it's the shortstop, Ryan Rocchio. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch misses. Meanwhile. Activity in the bullpen. Will Vest getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Colton, the lefty, warming up as well. The 1-0. Oh. Right through there for a strike. Swings and misses. 
One and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through in the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Breaking ball in there for a strike. 0 2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Guardians fail to score. They still trail it here. It's 6 to 2. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound Stuart Nakajima. Nakajima. Zach McKinstry up now for the Tigers. Zach McKinstry. And a pitch. That one finds the corner. And it's a little long. Next offering is outside. One ball, one strike. Misses off the inside, two and, and it's two and one. Right through there for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. And that one is lifted in the air, moving under it. And there's one down. Up next to the Tiger, the good guy. Trey. Trey Sweeney digs in now. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Base is empty one away. You're at the top of the ninth. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Okay. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. A right-hander appears to be getting loose. Here's the 0-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. That one, one ball. miss. Just off the outside part of the plate. It's a good take. One down, base is empty. That Ball. one misses. Full count, three and two. The pitch. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. He's got to throw any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the up. And now the catcher comes up to him, Jake Rogers. Just missed. Towards right center, that's well struck, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second, and it's a double, making him three for four on the day. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy.
And next is the designated hitter, Parker Meadows. 0 for 4 with three strikeouts and a flyout. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. One left for Detroit. They lead it 6 to 2. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Will Vest. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. So now here's the DH, David Fry. The designated hitter, Fry. The pitch. There's a strike. Lifted in the air, out to left. Green settles under it, hauls it in for the out. Up next to Cleveland, the third base. He's two outs away. Oh, Stepping up for the Guardians, Jose Ramirez. Ramirez. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. First offering, and it just misses. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Right-handed reliever. Pitches in the dirt. Ball two. Wouldn't chase that time. Three and Next offering is in for a strike. Take it all away on 3-0 right there. And as a hitter, you're saying, why couldn't I get that pitch earlier in the count when I'm looking to swing? Kicks and deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. At the belt and fires. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer Number at it. Eight. Now he has Number somebody to worry about two. over at first. So, man aboard, and now it's Josh Naylor. There's a strike, 95 of that one. The Tigers leading by four here the last half of inning number nine. Got him swinging. And the Guardians with one out left. Lane Thomas digs in for the Guardians. And that one pulled foul. Two outs. They're down to their final strike. Go ball. He's great. The Guardians down to their final strike. That one is upstairs. Ramirez off of first with two away.
Smoked on the ground a second. On the first, ball game. And the Tigers secure a big road win in game two. They even up the series before heading home. Here now is our 